Duckies, Andy Lippy here, and today I'm going to show you a new-ish plugin that has come out for OBS that will allow you to do loads of different pixelized, different effects and all that jazz. As you can see, I'm randomizing through a bunch of different things that you can do with it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how it works, how to get it, get it installed, and get it working. It works for Windows, Mac, and Linux, so pretty much everybody can use it so let's just get into it right let's stop this from happening all right let's go let's go so we can get it from the obs website just here it's called pixel art by dsp stanky and it's pretty cool so you can see some examples just here of what can be done with it you can get some really cool unique effects that you weren't able to do previously so to get your hands on it just hit the download link just up here this will take you over to the GitHub page, which you can download whichever version you want. So I'll use Windows. I usually recommend the installers, but if you're installing manually, then you just open up the file like so. Copy this data and OBS plugins and go to wherever you have OBS installed on your PC. So mine C drive, program files, OBS studio, and then just paste directly into there. I already have mine installed, so it's going to ask me to replace it. This is how you'd also update your plugins. So let's take a little look at it. So we've got OBS just here, and it is a filter. So to use that, we can go on any source. It doesn't have to be a camera. It could be a video game or anything. It's literally up to you what you do with this. So we go to filters, and you'll be able to see we can right-click under the effect filters and go down to where are your pixel art just here, and we press OK. And you can see in our preview here, we've started making it all pixelized. So downscales is how basically how big the pixels are. As you can see, you can go really silly with it. And as I move around on the camera, oh, it's actually affecting my camera. I forgot that I'm doing a virtual output. That's 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 a little bit awkward, isn't it? I forgot that I was doing that. So now I'm going invisible. Maybe maybe I should have thought about this. Well, deal with it. <laughs> So as we increase the uh, downscales, we also have other settings here. So the dither spread, as you can see, creates that kind of grid effect, which is really nice. And it can go a long way. Or you can keep it nice and low as well. And you also have the dithering level. So if we increase the dithering level, you'll see it kind of goes even more like so. So you can really experiment with this to get the right effect that you're looking for. Some really retro looks. And it's also got a color count as well. So right now, if we turn down the red color to one, it's not going to use any red colors at all for our source. Same again, we'll turn it down. Well, it's going to use one, sorry, because it's using one. And we'll turn that all the way down as well. And the source is now kind of disappeared because we're not using any color so we'll increase the red so you can see there are some really cool effects that we can make with it uh, really simply as well want it fully red you can do that and obviously you can mix and match all these different colors to get all the randomized effects that i was doing as well so you can kind of get some ps1 graphics looking thing and you can just turn the filter on and off this will also work with Exceldro's move filter. That's how I was doing all that randomized effects, which in my other OBS, I've got just here. And I've got all these different move values triggering each other. And when I turn this on, it changes everything in OBS and looks really, really bad, which is just crazy. It's creating a loop effect, which is just really weird. But yeah, it kind of... You can do whatever you want with this. Hope you guys really like the one. I love the plugin. I've used it for quite a few different effects now on my stream, including like the stream up uh, game lad, because, you know, copyright and all that jazz. Um, uh, so we did the stream up game lad. If you want to see that kind of stuff, then come and visit me on twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. I stream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday at midday British time. Uh, and I also stream it over on YouTube as well. So uh, let me know what you think and what you want to use this effect for in the comments below, all right? And if there's anything else you want to know, then hit me up and I will help you out, all right? Put your rock over the stone, like, comment, and subscribe.